Good morning June, nice to see you again. Here you are back at St Matthew's with another range of your work. Can you tell us something about yourself and the latest work that you've been producing? My daughter sent me an easel and paints at the start of Covid and that was the first time I'd lifted a paintbrush. Ended up painting, found I could paint, which was quite a gift. Then I went to uh, art classes and the exhibition last year was such a success. We had nearly a thousand pounds for street pastors. And this year I've got over 50 paintings uh, to display and uh, they're all eclectic, all different, but I've advanced quite a bit since the first one. Excellent, you can see that in the diversity of your work. It's certainly different from last year. However, I see some bits of, I think I saw last year as well. That's right. You brought some back, which oh, is yes, good. Oh yes, there's a few. Uh -huh. There's a few not for sale, uh, particularly the one of my dad. And that was my first painting, so I'd like to keep these two. And I see the nice wee touch of a wee red hearth in them. Yes, well yeah. these are uh, telling people not to sell them. And we've sold one painting already. Excellent. So we're off to a good start. And let's hope next week um, is as good as last year. And I'd like to say thank you very much to the church, yourself, for all the help you've been. Uh, you know I'm going to the hospital and you're doing all the work yeah. next week. So thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, June. We wish you well in your exhibition and we hope that your surgery proves really beneficial oh, for you. Be back so, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Morning Douglas, nice, Morning. nice to see you at St Matthew's here. Welcome to your first visit. Could I ask you for the benefit of our audience yeah. to introduce yourself and maybe give me a wee bit of story about some of your work. So my name is Douglas Finlay and this is the first time, as Thomas said, that I'll be exhibiting at St Matthew's Church. And this painting here is from St Matthew's Church and the view of the River Tate just here. And my work generally is characterised by lots of bright colours, for example here, and lots of expression. And I've been painting, I would say, for the best part of eight or nine years. And I'm inspired by the Scottish landscapes, people, my own life experiences, and the feelings that I have, and try and put them out onto the canvas as best I can. You, you've got a wide range of what I would refer to as abstract. Yes. You know, pictorials and like. What's your, your thought process in doing one against the other? Because I, I, I'm, I'm a bit of a Philistine. Okay. I don't okay. see abstract see very well. Yeah. So when I'm painting something like this, for example, I'm trying to paint as freely as I can and just not worry about making any mistakes or anything like that. So this one is well, it's about my mother and it's about how I feel about her. So I've written things, for example, thank you. So it's a big thank you to my mother. And then we spend a lot of time together having cappuccinos. So we start off there. And then, for example, I, I consider both myself and my mum to be big thinkers. So I'm just writing down things and using colours that I associate with my mum. And then something a little bit more like, well, this is like, this is the fourth rail bridge. And this was more like a piece of design. And I tried to replicate the bridge in as few strokes as I could. And with the bright reds and the blacks and the rays. And that's actually one of my most popular designs. Thank you for that, Douglas. It's all that's left to me now to wish you well. They look for success at St Matthew's okay. Summer Gallery. Thank you very Thank much you. for giving me the opportunity.